Welcome back to another weekly episode of the Starting Five Podcast. I'm here with the boys, Jake, Tyrus, Smy, my host, myself, Caesar. This is your basketball episode of the week. Popping. Sorry, you just made a face for the face that I made, and it kind of made me giggle because I could peripheral vision. Why can't you ever have excitement about the pod? What do this you mean? is not Hogwarts, all right? Oh, he's got to be excited. Put he it loves down. NBA. He loves NBA. Abracadabra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> yeah, from this end and this end. Like, damn. Hey, but hey. actually, Crucio. <laughs> 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 all right. But to get to our topics for today's episode, uh, we want to hit on Embiid's last seven-game stretch. He's been going insane. Uh, the amount of points that he has been putting up and the – Proficiency he has been doing it at is extremely yeah, high, and I wanted yeah. to see if Pro these guys think that he could possibly win the MVP. Um, so after that, we will be talking about the Mavs and the fact that Luca and Kyrie will be not playing tonight on Monday, which is the day that we're recording the pod. Um, and they're right now. I think they're sitting at eighth. Is that correct, Jeremiah? Yeah, they're eighth right Dallas now. Is eighth, um, yes. They are poss- They are one game away from being uh, the 10th seed or possibly even the 11th, so out of the play-in. So we want to hit on, do we actually think that the, the Mavs can miss out on the playoffs all in general, even including the play-in? Um, and then from there, we will do um, our, match, our March Madness Final Four and Championship predictions because, you know, it is March and it is the tournament of the year for college basketball. It's March and it's madness, baby. Tournament yes, of the year yes, regardless, Jake. bro. yes. Yes, Jake. <laughs> it is March and it is madness. <laughs> you put two and two together, March madness. Maybe. Yes, Jake. Any, do you have any other corny jokes f- for oh, me? Man. Oh damn! Sorry, it was it was a good corny joke. I didn't say it was a bad corny joke. Oh, All right, but but to hit the- to hit on uh, Joel and Beats last seven <laughs> games. Pistons are winning by eighteen. Damn, get two. The Pacers. Oh, I, I picked the tires. Pacers. <laughs> All right, but, I hate you. but to hit on what um, the first topic that we're going to talk about is, so the last seven games, it has been 39 points on 65% field goal, 39 points, 59 field goal, 42, 69 field goal, 31, 50 field goal, 35, 62 field goal, 27 points, 59 field goal, and then 41 points with 57 field goal percentage. Will he end up winning – the MVP. That was the nah. most confusing stat reading I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. So I did the points. What were you naming? I did the points <laughs> and like the field goal percentage. percentage. Oh, okay, okay. Because that's what like Bleacher Report did. I didn't oh, want to yeah. go like his rebounds and assists for all seven games because I still could. I'd be on like game yeah, four yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, Joel Embiid's dropping thirty a game and he's been highly efficient. Yeah. So there you go. Straight up. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's gonna win MVP. You don't think? You don't nah. think so? Me neither. I mean, he's he. Should contend for it, which he, he won the is. scoring title again, though. <laughs> which he is, but dude, Jokic, man, he's playing out of his mind. This dude had, I watched the game yesterday. He had fourteen points, ten rebounds, and six assists at halftime yesterday. Mm-hmm. He almost had a triple yeah. double you at halftime. You know about Jokic? No, yeah. no, come on. <laughs> I'm that I want to leave you hanging. You know about Jokic? <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck the don't nuggets, don't bro. take that as a personal vendetta, bro. Dude, I bet money on him. Against the Nets and they lose. Just keep he betting. did everything he could. Just keep betting money on them. Facts. Just keep betting. No, I'm done right now. Now I bet money on the Pacers beating the Pistons and look what happened. There you go. So now you hate Dude, Tyrese. They Al- can come back. So you, it's the NBA. So you're it's gonna 18 hate 18 points. Bro, the Pistons don't have nobody. So Pacers gonna, don't have no one. So you're gonna hate Tyrese Halliburton. Yeah, but he healed. Then? He's not playing. Then there you go. So if he don't play and they lose, you gonna hate Tyrese Halliburton. No, I like Tyrese. Oh, there Tyrese. you go. You hate Buddy Healed. Back to what I was saying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's clear cut. Favorite Jokic is gonna win. I mean, I don't know what else. What are you guys hooligans are gonna say? But that's my opinion. I think Jokic got it 100. percent Okay. Any of you two can go ahead. I go don't first. really care that we're. So the way I look at it is, and beats balling out. Don't get me wrong. And and people like to compare these last ten games. And I get it. Jokic hasn't been doing as hot as he normally has these last ten mm-hmm. games. And that's what people have been comparing, which is kind of pissing me off. Because if you go ten games before that, he's blown the shit out of the water. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm talking 40-point triple-doubles every now, like, literally every game. He's averaging a damn near triple-double. Like, like that shit is nuts, especially as a center. Like, yeah. like your team's number one in the Western Conference. Like, and that's a tight-ass Western Conference race that's going on right now. Like, he's doing everything he's supposed to. Like, he literally, like, he could do more, but then you're asking for superhuman shit. Mm-hmm. I get Joel Embiid, like, yeah, he, he he's scoring and all that shit. And he might be getting the rebounds every now and then, but it's like, 
he's not getting the assist on the other end as well. Like, he might be averaging 33.4, but Jokic is averaging, like, 23 with 10 and 10. Like, mm-hmm. that shit is crazy. Like, the game he's talking about, like, where he almost had a triple double at half, he finished with 35 points, 20 rebounds, and 12 assists. Yeah. Or 11 assists, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Sorry. So, something like that, which is still r- stupid. Almost said a word I shouldn't. But it's like, that. like, just come down to it, like, all the shit you've been seeing on the internet, like, I just think Jokic is the MVP, and he's going to be a three-time MVP. And if he gets his ring this year, it's looking scary <laughs> for him being in them top ten conversations. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Jeremiah. Um, so, Joel Embiid, he's been going crazy. Um, he's averaging 33.4 right now, first in the league. So, he'll probably win the scoring title again. Yeah. Um, which, for a center, is definitely impressive. So, I will give him flowers for that because he, you could say, is the best scoring center in the NBA. Especially if he wins back to back scoring titles. It's impressive. Um the Sixers are really good. They're the team that people need to take seriously because of Joel Embiid. Obviously, mm-hmm. you can say that he got robbed of an MVP two years ago when Jokic won his first one. He's been pretty much in the MVP race the past three years. But I'm sorry, he's not Jokic. He's just not. You know what I'm saying? Like I like people have the whole Jokic, Joel Embiid debate, who's better, this and that. You could argue it, sure, but in my opinion, it's always been Jokic. I think he's the best center in the league. He's the king of triple doubles right now. And the thing is, Jokic makes everything so effortless. Yeah, too. he's just – he's a complete player. He does – realistically, the only thing that Joel Embiid does better than Jokic is score because, obviously, like, he's defense first in too. scoring. Yeah, and defense. But, like, when it comes to just overall at basketball, he's just better. Like, he's a better passer. He makes people around him better. He can – and he can score. But he's obviously not averaging 30, but he'll give you 25, 10, and 10. Like, he'll give you a triple-double almost every night. Their team's first in the West. So, he has that on Joel Embiid in a very tight West. So, I think Jokic will probably make history and win his third MVP in a row. Mm-hmm. Has that ever been done back-to-back-to-back? To back to back? Larry Bird. Larry Bird. And someone else. And Bill Russell and uh, Will Chamberlain. But other than that, that hasn't been done. So, it hasn't um, been done in, in a long time. In yeah. yeah. So, I'm not saying Joel Embiid doesn't have a chance. Depending on who you ask, they could say that he might have a chance. Like, it's probably Jokic and then Embiid right now, probably. But it'll probably go – I think it will go to Jokic again. Mm. I just think he he deserves it. I mean, I mean he matched all the criteria. It's just like whether or not you're, you're tired of him winning it. I mean, he's – right now, we could argue he's the best player in basketball, leading the best team in the West. Mm-hmm. And – he just does everything at a high level. I agree. And he's out, he's a center averaging a triple double. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know really what more you could ask for Jokic. Yeah. I mean, I agree. And that's uh, not me disrespecting Embiid at all. I don't think it's disrespectful. I just wanted to bring it up because there's really not a lot of mm-hmm. over really exciting. I mean, it's topics, a good conversation. It's a good though. conversation yeah. to have. Um, I don't think it's disrespectful to Embiid, uh, because he's still winning something, scoring title, but it is unfortunate. Because like he said, I think it was last year or two years ago, he said, I just don't know what more else to do. Yeah. Well, you I get do, it. You have to do more than what, than what Jokic is doing. Yeah. You know? Uh, and it is kind of hard, I guess, you could say with the uh, 76ers because sometimes James Harden will, will go off and doing crazy. I haven't been really focusing on what he has done this season at all, uh, to be com- quite honest with you guys. Um, I know Tyrus is high on him this year, this season in particular. Um, but... Jokic does have a better team, in my opinion. Obviously, he's number one seed in the West. Um, so, that's why I feel like the assists are coming from more. So, it's, it, it, it prevents him to have a higher average on assist-wise. But it's just very difficult for him to even be able to compete at a at a realistic level for MVP against Jokic for, for quite literally what Jokic is doing, averaging the triple-double, basically. You know what I'm saying? As a center... Being the first in the West is insane. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, shit. I wish one of us could have maybe brought the conversation where it be could win the MVP. But it's very hard to make that conversation, you know what I'm saying? Because pretty much in everything that you're going to try to use to make the con- make the, the the conversation where it can possibly happen, and Jokic just has better numbers. You know what I'm saying? So everything I, I could possibly bring up or you guys can possibly bring up to make a case for Embiid, Jokic is there meeting you. It's going to meet you there with better stats. You know what I'm saying? And better performances. So it's just very difficult for, for a case to be made for a B. But I just wanted to bring it up to see. <clears throat> because what Embiid has been doing for these last seven games, the last ten games in general, is, is pretty fucking insane. You know what I'm saying? 
And unfortunately, if it wasn't for Jokic for for his existence or even playing in the NBA, he'd be the MVP. Um, you already went right. Yes, sir. All right. Oh yeah, you were first. Um, so that so with that being said, we're gonna move on to our next topic, which is the Mavs. Uh, the Mavs are dealing with uh, Luca and Kyrie uh, missing their second game in a row. Right now, they're sitting at eighth, one game, one game above uh, two teams. Who are the two teams? Jeremiah, can you remind me? I think you told me, but I forgot. Uh, my phone's on I the actually, ground. I so. only looked at Dallas. Trailblazers and Lakers. Trailblazers and Lakers. I'm pretty sure. Below them or above them? Above them. Ooh, above, above the Mavericks? I th- I think the you Lakers asking, are. You asking who's above the Mavericks? No, below the Mavericks. Oh, Jazz and Thunder. Oh, Just below a, the I think Mavericks. the Lakers. Yeah, I was about to say Lakers are above them. And, yeah, and then Timberwolves them. and Warriors are above them. No, no, no. I want the below them. Yeah, Jazz and Thunder. Okay, so the Jazz and Thunder are just basically one game behind the Mavs. Well, technically, the Jazz, Thunder, Lakers, and the Pelicans all have the same record. Yeah. So, so they're all right there. Yeah. So majority, mainly my question is, my bad, is that with Luka Damn. and Kyrie with their injuries, if they linger for, for these next couple of games because the season's almost over, um, I think we have, like, what, 15 games less, maybe even less? 12, 15? Somewhere around there, right? Yeah. Uh, do you guys possibly think that the Mavs can end up in that tenth spot in the play-in, or maybe even miss out in the play-in completely and miss out the, miss out on the playoffs this season? When we just when when you guys just said that the that the Mavs point guard backcourt duo was the best in the league, I didn't say that. Luca, I wasn't on Curry. that. I wasn't on that pause though. And so who was the ones that said? Because I know I didn't. I had the Austin second. I'm just saying I missed. That was the, I did. That was I the pod that, that I missed. So I don't know. Really. Austin did yeah. too. So I don't know. So is that worrying for you guys? That the, for, for well for you because Evans isn't here. For you for the fact that you come out and say that, and now that they're in a the possibility of make missing on the playoffs playoff. completely. I mean, I mean I stand by it. Like when they're both healthy, like I've seen it before. Mm-hmm. They both go off for 43, and they're the best backcourt in the NBA. Like, I stand by that. Mm-hmm. It's just, I mean, if they're hurt, I can't do anything about that. I mean, same thing with the Lakers. I mean, they, they, when Anthony Davis and LeBron are out, like, they're not going to win much games. I mean, it's different now. they got a whole different team. But, like, even before that, Anthony Davis and LeBron play, they're at a completely different team than when they're out. I mean, that's how it is. That's how the Mavericks are built. Their team is pretty much dog shit without them. <laughs> so, it's like you can't really do much unless them two are in. So, do you think that they, like, well, depending on how long, how much longer they're out with their injuries, how many games do you have, to, do you give the Mavs to be actually starting being worried, even with the two playing, the fact that they could possibly even make the, miss the playoffs even with them two playing? I mean, I mean, if they go on, a, like, a losing streak, like, right now, mm-hmm. like if they don't come back and they start losing, like, yeah, they got to They're worry. toasted. They're, they're toasted done. because it's, it's a super tight race. Like, mm-hmm. you just said, there's four teams that are one game behind them. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, I also think that, the Phoenix Suns are sitting at what you guys are fourth. Mm-hmm. They're only two games above the Mavs, mm-hmm. or three ga- or yeah, three games. They're three games above the Mavs. They have thirty-seven mm-hmm. wins. So like you're looking at that, it's like just the entire Western Conference is close as hell. So like it really just depends on how everything else plays out. Mm-hmm. And I'm not really like that worried that they're gonna miss the play-in. I don't think they'll miss the play-in. I still think they'll make it because I mean when Luca and Kyrie come back, they're their favorites to win the games. Yeah. Like, what they can do is is ridiculous. I mean, unless they play a team like the Phoenix Suns and stuff like that, and they almost beat the they almost beat them mm-hmm. with KD. Yeah. But like when you're looking at it, like that that <coughs> sh- shows you how good that backcourt is. They take that team mm-hmm. to almost beating them. So I still stand by. I still think that they make the play in. All right, Jake, Maya, whoever wants to go next. I game. think <coughs> I think they make the play in, but there's a high possibility of them missing the playoffs if. Either one of them don't come back soon. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, Tyra said, that's her whole team right there. Yeah. And, I mean, Luca can get 30 on his own, but he's been out dealing with the, that uh, that thigh injury for the past, yeah. like, month and a half now. So, when yeah. is that gonna, when is he going to be 100% healthy? Yeah. Kyrie's dealing with the right leg, and he's mass- missed past couple games of it. So, I think they'll, they'll, they'll make play in. But I wouldn't be surprised if they miss the playoffs because who never knows. They played the Grizzlies again tonight. They just lost against the Grizzlies a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. So if, they're on a, like a, if they lose tonight, they'll be on like a two-game losing streak. They'll be on a three-game losing streak. Uh, three-game losing streak. So if they, mm-hmm. these L's keep appearing on them, it's, they're going to dig themselves in a hole they can't dig themselves out of. 
Yeah. Uh, my feeling is that if they're on the five game, five or six game losing streak, then I'm getting worried of them even missing, possibly even missing the play in. Uh, I'm kind of on the on the I'm on the front where you guys were with you guys on the fact that they'll they'll make the play ins. Um, but yeah, I think I think what you're trying to say is that they could make the play ins, but possibly miss the playoffs in general, right? Like losing yeah. the play ins. I think that's a possibility just due to the injuries um, and their availability. Um, because even if they show up, they they can get injured during the game, which obviously no one wants to happen. Because then that just ruins the game and the chance of um, uh, amazing performance by the players and teams um, involved in the games. So, but with that being said, I I still I I still think if they can if they can somehow win tonight, which I doubt. But if the mask is somehow win tonight, then they'll be fine, and I, I think they could possibly get the last spot in the plans. I mean, the playoffs and not even get into, not even have to deal with the plans. But it'll be difficult because of the losing streak that they can't they can't go on without Luca and Kyrie. But like you guys said, they need to come back quick and do something about it because it's looking I'm scary. Not, I'm not gonna lie, they're not winning tonight. They're facing the Memphis Grizzlies, who yeah. have been winning without Ja. Yeah, which just, they do. It's just not gonna happen. Yeah, I know. That's supposed to kind of like if like somehow some fucking hour, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, uh, I'll be honest, I'm actually kind of scared. Um, I don't know what it is, but uh, I feel like they once they got Kyrie, mm-hmm. they still weren't winning at yeah. the level that they were supposed to. Um, I mean, they did lose like what was it like five games in a row or something like that. Mm-hmm. When they first picked up Kyrie, and you know I was like, you know, it's fine, give them time, whatever, they'll be okay. But their role players suck. They do. They have no hope without Luke or Kyrie playing. Tim Hardaway Jr. is not one really of them. good. Really, really good. Sure, but that's Tim Hardaway Jr. I mean, he's probably the only other good role player that they have. But other than that, like, their role players really aren't good at all. Like, mm-hmm. I don't – they need at least Luka or Kyrie to play. Probably most likely Luka. But, like – and they don't have either of them right now. So, like, I'm actually really scared. The West is so tight to the point where, like, every game matters – so they can't really afford to drop games. So depending on how many games that they're not going to play, like it, mm-hmm. they probably will not win a game, I'm assuming. Yeah. Um, and then if you have teams like the Lakers who are going to possibly win games and get better, the Pelicans are sneaky. Like they, if I mean, if they drop like two or three games in a row, I mean, they're going to get passed. And I don't know if, if Luka and Kyrie come back, I don't know if they will be able to pick up the slack to come back, depending on – they could, I don't know. It'll probably just come down to probably like the last like 10 games of the season. With the yeah. West, because that's every team is pretty much like one game out. But I'm just scared for the Mavericks because if they don't start winning games and picking things up, they will miss the playoffs. Mm-hmm. And with Luka and Kyrie being the two players on the team, it's going to be a bad look. Yeah. Because even when they do play, they can, f- they, I mean, I get it. It's not their fault because, yeah, they show up and they're going to probably put up 30, 40 points a night. But they're going to have to look at that team and be like, dude, we obviously can't win with just Luka and Kyrie. Like they're gonna, yeah. it's it's a team problem, not just Luke or Kyrie. Yeah. So like I'm I am scared for them because they definitely could miss the playoffs. So do you think that they can even? Do you think I already heard the playoffs? Yeah. But what about the plan? Um, I mean, same thing, low key. Like they could. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm probably more confident of them obviously making the plan. Yeah. Because I mean, you, all you have to do worst case scenario is be the ten seed. Yeah. But like they could, like I said, because ev- they're every team below them. All the way down to the Pelicans, all those teams have the same record. They're only one game back. Yeah. So like they could go from eighth to like twelfth in like three games. Yeah. If two of those teams win and Mavericks go on a losing streak. Yeah. So like they could like possibly miss the Mm plan. I still don't want to bet on that because I think if Luke and Kyrie come back, they'll be okay. Yeah. But it's just I'm I'm just saying I'm scared for them too because this this is the worst time to lose your two best players. Yeah, in a position where your role players suck. Who knows when they were playing together that they were they were losing games. That's what I'm saying. They weren't even playing up to their potential when they when Kyrie first got there. But there was at one one point there was at one point where the Mavericks were like the fifth seed in the West, and it just seems like within the past month they've been dropping games. So it's just this this you gotta you gotta play good basketball at this point to make the playoffs, and they're literally like right now probably one of the worst teams in the West with how they're playing. Mm-hmm. I agree, and they have no depth. So I'm just saying I'm scared for them. I don't. I mean I don't think they'll miss the plan. I hope they don't. I like yeah. the Mavericks, but I'm just I, Luke and Kyrie. Just, they got to come back pretty quick. Yeah, true. That, I mean that's why. Like I, uh, I feel like we should have talked about. We needed to talk about it a little bit because it's a conversation to have. Because just of the two big names that they have on their team, you know, and I get it where you're coming from where they have no no role players, but it is scary to think about how Luca. 
in Kyrie, not me, and in the playoffs, you know, yeah. especially of what Lu- well, people of what Luca was able to do last people year. People want to see that. Yeah, they definitely want to see Luca and Kyrie in the playoffs. So that would be hard, but yeah. And still, no one's going to want to play him in the play-in. True, because they could. They, they're going to want to play in game. I'm assuming they probably will. They should. So, yeah, yeah. It's just bad timing losing your two best players. Yeah, when there's 15 games left of the season. Yeah, and true. you gotta and the Western Conference is pretty much like as tight as it is. Mm-hmm. So it's looking scary. No, it definitely is. All right, well. That wraps up our NBA portion of the pod. We're going to hit on our last topic, which is March Madness. Um, it starts on Friday. The first four is on Thursday, right, or Wednesday? The first four? Uh, Thursday, no? Thursday, I think. Yeah, Thursday, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but I know the tournament starts on Friday in general. Um, so, with that being said... Um, I want us to give our final four predictions, and then we're going to – so we'll do the final four. Then once everyone does their final four, we'll go ahead and do our championship game prediction and then um, have, obviously, who wins the game. Uh, So the first person I want to hear from is uh, actually Jake. Who's your final four? All right. My final four is I have Alabama versus Duke, and I have Texas versus Kansas. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Is there anything from that that you guys don't fucking have a head scratch or anything like that? Where we're like, whoa, how did that team no, make I it got, there? It's March Madness, bro. I ain't going to do that. <laughs> I ain't going to do that. But I ain't going to do that. I got Duke losing first round. Who shit? All right, then who's your, four? What's your final four? I want to hear that. I can see it happening. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can shit. see it happening, too. Like it could happen. Or Roberts. Roberts. Or Roberts. From Roberts. From what I know, or Roberts got some shooters, huh? Max Abram. And it's bad. It's a 12 and a 5. It shit happens. Don't match up well. It happens. Yeah, it does happen. Damn. Come on, Blue sorry, Devils. Evans. But I'm not Shout here. To, I'm not here to dictate any of y'all's picks. We're we're college basketball casuals. Uh, over if here, Evans so. was here, he had the Duke Blue Devils winning. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> but yeah, I know his will. I know his will. So you don't have to hear about that. But um, my final four is um, I got Alabama versus Marquette, and then I got Houston versus Gonzaga. Oh, okay. Nice little f- final four. Yeah. Some randoms in there. Okay, Marquette. They are not random. No, I mean like, <laughs> like they're not <laughs> randoms. They're, they're hey, shout out Sean Jones coming hey, back. I home. know they're good. This Sean year. Jones. I'm meaning about the name of the school. That's oh, okay. a that's like that's a random. Like like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. We don't always talk about Marquette being in the final four. They're always but in I the like tournament it. though. Marquette's that is nice. Definitely. Marquette is a nice. Wish show. we could say that about High State, you, but no. You know what? You know what? Great shooting guard went to Marquette. Ah, yes. Who? Who? <laughs> you guys really think I'm that stupid? Yes. Come on. I feel like South he actually Beach. knows. Miami I feel like he actually Come knows. On. Come on. He, he only knows that because he Wait. just shouted <laughs> him out on Instagram. <laughs> 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 he just said, look out for my boy. <laughs> look out for right, my bro. boy. All right, whatever, bro. Y'all are weird, bro. Y'all are weird. I don't think I'm that stupid. What's your Come final on. four, Maya? Good. Um, all right, my final four. I got, really I, didn't know where he went. I got uh, Alabama versus Marquette. So, shout out Tyrus. Good job. Oh, I got so, the same oh, shit so, as you. Same so, more of the you. story, Tyrus called Jeremiah and, uh, for his final four. Houston, okay. Houston and... He uh, just made that. I made this at bro, like I made my shit like 20 minutes ago <laughs> before we started the pod. Um, and then I got Houston against UConn. And then, so my championship, I got Hold Alabama. on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, my bad. Hold on, my bad. My bad. Okay, I mean, technically... I got, okay, he never bad. listens, bro. My, hey, I agree with you. It's weird. My sure, final four. My bad. Alabama versus huh? Marquette and then Houston versus UConn. My bad. That's smooth. Uh, hey, that's I smooth. like that. I like that. I fuck with Amaya. There's at least, I promise you, I feel like there's gonna be at least one team that's like not a one or two seed that's gonna be in the final four. Yeah, dude. That's yeah. why I have UConn because I got, like, I got because Saint, like it happens yeah. every year. I got St. Mary's in the Elite Eight. Yeah, see, there you go. Damn. Because like, I'm tired of like even though we all say it, but I'm tired of like one and two seeds always like. I got well, picked. Robert. Yeah, like, there's always gonna be a, an right, underdog team right. that's gonna make a make a run. Mm-hmm. So I guess for me in this bracket, it's UConn. So right. go UConn. I got Alabama against Duke, and then I got Texas against UConn. Hey, That's UConn. Four, okay. It's yeah. my final four. UConn's good. No, they are. Sorry, so what's your championship valid. game? My championship game? Yeah. Oh, I got oh. – um, so my championship game, I got – hold on. This, this thing's weird. I got Marquette versus Houston. I got Houston winning. Oh, Marquette making Marquette it Marquette versus Damn, that's Houston. crazy. You're high on Marquette, huh? Yeah, you are high on Marquette. I'm not going to lie. I'm high on Marquette, I've watched too. some Marquette games. They're nice. They Marquette good. Good. <laughs> I mean, they're a two-seed, bro. They're, they're nice, hard. Bro. They are good. This would be I'm a, not a, lot, make a, run. a lot of one-seeds don't really make it. I know I put Houston in there, but, dude, it's it's like Kansas did it last year, but, like, it's, dude, it's rare as hell Yeah, for, like, one-seeds to get in there. I usually feel like at least one one-seed will make it, usually, I always feel like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, like, two one-seeds is, like, it's not happening. I put 100 bucks on it. 
Like, yeah, you, like, you wanna, like I'll put a hundred bucks on it that, that, that two number ones don't face each other in the final. <laughs> I, got happily I got it though. Sure. I got it though. No cap. You got two number ones facing each yeah. other? Yeah. Yeah. I could bet a hundred bucks <laughs> yeah. it don't happen. But I mean, it probably won't happen, but shit. Who do you got, Maya? I got Alabama versus Houston. Alabama against Houston? Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. And I got, yeah. All right. Who do you, you have winning? winning? Oh, my bad. Uh, Alabama. Alabama? Yeah. I think Alabama's good. No cap. Alabama's I think they're good. nice. All right. Well, they got the best backcourt. Like, they're crazy. Probably in college basketball. Yeah. Jake? I have Duke versus Texas, and I have Texas winning. Damn. Mm. I like that, Didn't though. you? Like weren't you though. high on Texas last year, or was it Tennessee? No, I was high on Tennessee. Oh, so. okay, okay. Because of TikTok. And they got they got ranked <laughs> out. <in the> Swiss. <laughs> TikTok. I'm not going to lie. TikTok, <laughs> TikTok no, you one, put me I, on. No, Tennessee I, I, was I, nice I like year. Tennessee. They were nice. TikTok mm-hmm. said they were good. They and were then valid. I, and, uh, and then you picked them, and they failed. They they got they got they got beat Annihilated. in Sweet 16. Yeah. Or like the round of 32. It happens, though, but I'm telling you. You can't predict this shit. You can't. Baylor lost last year. That's why it's March and it's Madness. And they lost some like around 32. Yeah, they got blown out too. Yeah. Actually, I think it's by UNC. UNC beat them. Yeah, they blew them out. Yeah. That's crazy. They're not even in the tournament this year. UNC ain't in the tournament. I think I called that shit. What? I think I had North Carolina beating Baylor last year. I think you did. I think I did. Because I remember you was was like, holy shit. I can't remember. (laughs) I ain't even even gonna try. But my my uh my championship game is Bama against uh, UConn. Oh, I like that. Okay, UConn. I don't know who's going to win. UConn beating Houston? Texas. Oh, Texas, yeah. I'm yeah, I have, I have UConn beating Texas. Texas I got hard. UConn losing in the round of 32. He just don't like UConn. I, I low-key had him losing in the first round. <laughs> really? I did, too. I have, I have Bama I have winning it. I'm with you right there, Maya. I have Bama yeah, winning it. Yeah, I mean, look. I don't know. I guess I look at UConn as they can either make a deep run or they lose the first round. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm not doing that. Dude, North Carolina was a nine seed and went to the chip last year. Yeah. Do I? Yeah, I did not predict UNC to make it even like past the. I think I had them losing like the second round or some shit. I dead ass mm-hmm. think I had them beating Baylor. Like I was like, no, like no way they made the championship, mm-hmm. but they did. Yeah, just crazy. But it's March. That's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna get mad at any of your picks for March Madness. Yeah, no, can't predict Dude. it. There's gonna be one Cinderella team. We all know. Just gotta think about which one's gonna be. What did uh? What was that? Uh, the 16 seed that made it to like the what was it? The Elite Eight, right? Uh, St. Peter's. Loy- St. Peter's. Loyola. No, Loyola. St. Peter's. Oh, Loyola. Loyola. Oh, Loyola. Yeah, Loyola that was made it to the Final Four. Final Four. Yeah, yeah was that three, four, four, four years ago? Yeah. We were in high school. Yeah, it was, yeah, our, it was senior our senior year. year. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, shit, dude, that's a minute ago. Damn. Bro. You, it was our senior year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was our senior year. I remember that, bro. Because we were in school. I remember. No, senior no, it got canceled. Yeah, senior. It was junior year. Junior year. Because our senior year got canceled. Oh yeah, COVID. Damn. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all remember when uh, we thought we were just going to get another two weeks of spring break and we yeah. never came back? <laughs> we, <laughs> we never, never came, came back. back. That was the longest spring break ever. What was the album? What was the album? We had the longest spring break ever. Yeah, we're facts. still on it. Hey, we're what was the one on album it. that dropped? We've been on it. It said, um, the, um, this dropped and then we never came back. You said it literally like three nights ago. This is why I'm asking you because you said this shit three nights ago. I dead serious don't remember what you're talking about. God damn it. I'm sorry. You me every time when I need you, bro. I said it? Yes, yeah. bro. We were all, we were on the Xbox, bro. We were like, it, I forget what we were talking about, bro. But it was about COVID and some shit like that. And you oh. said, I said, you said, bro, I saw a meme or some shit like that, and it was about an album, like some, oh, someone uh, dropping. Or er, Ernold Take, Lil Uzi, because he dropped on Eternal that. Take, yeah. he, he dropped on that said, Friday. He dropped. He dropped, and we never came back. Yep. Yeah. yeah that's that's like that. that shit was he dropped on that Friday. Friday. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. It's crazy to think. Thank you, Jake. See, you pull up. Oh, I know. Hey, I pull he's up. a bigger Uzi fan than me. That's true. All right, boys. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about Uzi. in general? Some I made another bracket. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I made another bracket. You made another fucking he bracket. He just made it. Like this guy. Bro. I made it like ten minutes ago. What Dude, he does this shit all the he time. He did that while we were on the, <laughs> the pod. <laughs> no, I did it before we started the pod. Make? I only like each year. Probably like I only have like. Are I we probably, gonna do one? I probably make like. Uh? I don't care. You want to do one for like ten? Dude, I, no, because I know I'm make I'm not me. I'm not making. Dude, I don't, it's hard oh, to bet on March Madness. I give a baby though. one, and it would probably dead ass win. <laughs> All right, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we can make care. one. I don't care. That's fine. I'll right, shoot you in this. I don't give a damn. No, I usually <laughs> only have like two per. I gotta get crap. some back. <laughs> <laughs> so this is for the pickups. <laughs> but this one just bro like lost bullshit. See, I gotta know something. <laughs> bro lost two hundred dollars. What Wait, so like, how, so like, whoever predicts the winner win the money or whatever. Who got the better bracket? Whoever has wins? the most picks. Yeah. Well, I mean, Correct. if you do it off that, it goes by points. Oh, so whoever gets the most points will win the money. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. Because yeah, I use the March. Oh, my bad, bro. I'm talking about what about if you use the March Madness one? Just someone, just someone send the invite for to do it, and we can do it, bro. Fuck it. What if, What if this is like the first ever bracket where like every 
Well, like, number one seed make the, it. Like every top seed makes it. So like like the the five always beats the twelve. The eight always beats the nine. That'd be pissed. Like no well, upsets. Like just no upsets. Like and then when the like the eight to meet the ones, the ones win. Nah, the ones make know. it all the way there. So it's all. And then the it's ones that are the ones. favorite. The ones that are like the favorites, all ones. In the oh no, four. I can't see that. And then happening. like the ones that are the favorites, like win. And then the one that's the favorite wins. <laughs> That'd be so boring. I can't see that. Yeah, I can't see that happening. I would be boring. I would dead ass be interested. I'd be like, I'm invested. They gotta win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wouldn't care. Like, the the favorites are supposed to win. Where's the this year? Like the final game. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, probably probably Las it Vegas. Up. It's in Columbus, and it's a grand. I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not going. What is it? The final. I said four? no. I said there's games in Columbus, and it's not even the final four. And I'm not going. It's the first and second session, bro. Yeah, I'm not going. It's a grand I know. A ticket. <laughs> I'm not going. No, it's saying. not. It's two thirty-two a ticket. I'm not sitting in the top row. <laughs> it's not in the top row. Jesus, the tickets you sent us were like five hundred dollars. Like the one I sent was like three something, and it was a pretty decent seat. I'll pull that shit up right now for both days, all day. That's all day. Is that what that is? Yeah. So you see multiple games. Yeah, you're. Th- that's why I said it's not. It's really not that bad of a price. Cause you're there for you both days. Game? Oh, you showed me three forty one behind the hoop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first, the first Literally time directly behind the hoop. No, no, Why? it's not directly. It just I zoomed out. It's not directly. It's like at an angle. <laughs> it's three forty one. No, listen. We had one better, but then when he when he had me when he had me send it again, it was sold. Like those were those were sold. What is this? Is this at the shot? Uh, no. Uh, nationwide? nationwide. Yeah. Damn, no, I'm not. <laughs> this is even farther. <laughs> Nationwide. That shit is far. Yeah. Oh, that's like But it's all, you're there WWE. all day. Like, type shit. You I'd get there all day. I'd rather watch WWE again. Nah, that shit was fun as fuck. That shit was fun. That shit was so much even fun. Even though they ruined the main event. Oh, are we doing anything for USC 286 this Saturday? It starts at 5, bro, because it's in London. <gasps> it's this Saturday? Yeah, it's this Saturday. Oh, my God, I got to bet on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Leon, uh, of course. Houston, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I work. Oh. Damn. We'll see if I work. Damn. So we're not even going to be able to watch it together? Damn. We'll they start working uh, Saturdays now. We'll, we'll have it on my phone. I might call off. Bro, normally, <laughs> oh, call off. normally UFC events are on at night. So Yeah. Well, this one's at London, so like it's at 5. So I'm going to be. So like, they'll, start, they'll start working. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm be. Be. They'll, they'll start fighting. Dead ass. They'll start fighting when you're on your way home, probably. At 8? Yeah, somewhere like that. Yeah, whatever. That's right. You can just. <laughs> no, we'll, see. well, no, they're putting I don't think I don't think I work this weekend. Oh. I think it's next weekend. That's a fight night. Fuck it. Yeah, you're fine. And then, and then after that, is it Adesanya? Literally the week later is Adesanya, yeah. and then literally the week after that. No, Adesanya fights in April. Yeah, Jake, it, literally it, April's next in this two is weeks. Mar- it's about to be March like seventeenth. No, you and said week next off. week is the. Uh, Next week, next week I said next night. week's the UFC fight night, and then the week after oh, is but, that. But, and then there's, and bro, then there's April a fight 1st, night, and then, then it's uh, Ryan yeah. Garcia. Tank. It, yeah. Bro, April yeah. 1st is only in two weeks. And then Tank, and then, uh, and then Tank goes to jail. No. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> next week, Caleb Plant. Is it next week? March 23rd. Oh, shit. We got to watch that, bro. I will. That's a good-ass fight. But, uh, Caleb Plant against Benavides. As long as it's at uh, night. Yeah. Because I dead-ass have work next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You actually say that now. Damn. Hey, congrats, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, hey, the winner, the winner faces Canelo. So <laughs> with that being said, but with that being said, Tyrus, hit the outro, please. Go Suns. Um, I'm starving. Go Warriors. So we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, I'm fucking hungry. Go follow too. us on uh, everything that you can. Go follow us on Instagram, uh, Twitter, TikTok. If you made it this far, please subscribe. Uh, this has been your NBA pod. It's been real. It's been fun. fun. It's been yours. Your starting five. five.